God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a girl named Mary. She was engaged to marry a man named Joseph from the family of David. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> The angel came to her and said, Greetings! <laughs> the Lord has blessed you and is with you. But Mary was very startled <gasps> by what the angel said and wondered what this greeting would mean. <laughs> the angel said to her, Don't be afraid. Mary, God has shown you his grace. Listen. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord has, will give him the throne of King David, his ancestor. He will rule over the people of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will never end. Mary said to the angel, How can this happen when I'm not yet married? The Holy Spirit will come on you and the power of the Most High will cover you. And for this reason, the baby will be holy and called the Son of God. And Mary said, I am the Lord's servant. Let this happen as you say. And then the angel went away. At that time, Augustus Caesar sent an order that all people in the countries under Roman rule mm -hmm. must list their names in a register. And all went to their own towns to be registered. So Joseph left Nazareth, a town in Galilee, and went to the town of Bethlehem in Judea, known as the town of David. Joseph went there because he was from the family of David. Joseph registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was now pregnant. While they were in Bethlehem, the time came for Mary to have the baby, and she gave birth to her first son. Because there were no rooms left at the inn, Mary wrapped the baby with pieces of cloth and laid him in a feeding trough. That night, some shepherds were in their fields watching their sheep when an angel of the Lord appeared stood before them. The glory of the Lord was shining around them and they became very frightened. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I am bringing you good news that will be a great joy to all the people. Today your saviour was born in the town of David. He is Christ the Lord. This is how you will know him. You will find a baby wrapped in pieces of cloth and lying in a manger. Then a very large group of angels from heaven joined the first angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, let there be peace among the people who please God. <laughs> He was lying in a feeding trough. When they had seen him, they told what the angels had said about this child. Everyone was amazed at what the shepherds said to them. Then the shepherds went back to their sheep, praising God and thanking him for everything they had seen and heard. It had been just as the angel had told them. Jesus was born in the town of Bethlehem in Judea during the time when Herod was king. When Jesus was born, some wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. They asked, Where is the baby that was born 
to be king for the dunes. <laughs> we have seen his star in the east and we're here to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was troubled, as were all the people in Jerusalem. Herod called a meeting of all the leading priests and teachers of the law and asked them where the Christ would be born. They answered, in the town of Bethlehem in Judea. Then Herod had a secret meeting with the wise men. When did you first see the star? We saw it in the east. Go and look carefully for the child, and when you find him, come and tell me so I can worship him too. <laughs> After the wise men heard the king, they left. The star that they had seen in the east went before them, until it stopped above the place where the child was. When the wise men saw the star, they were filled with joy. They came to the house where the child was, and saw him with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. They opened their gifts and gave him treasures of gold, frankincense and myrrh. But God warned the wise men in the dream not to go back to Herod. So they returned to their own country by a different way. John 3.16 says, For God loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that anyone who believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. 